How to draw parallel channel in TradingView. Hi there you guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can draw parallel channel in TradingView. That's pretty easy and aside from that, let's explore a lot more features, uh, charting features on this particular platform. So the platform I have here is called Investigrams. So if you want to access their profile, just go to investigrams.com. Now all of the stocks, all of the bit, uh, cryptocurrencies that are listed worldwide, um, they've got it here. They have a real-time analytics of the trading going on in that particular platform or in that particular currency or particular stock, be it under NYSE or uh, other stock markets worldwide. So now this is their trading view looks like. This is how the chart looks like. It's uh, it's light themed actually. And you can see here the live, yeah, live trading uh, amounts. Uh, so basically this is for the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So this is the chart for the Philippine Stocks Index from May this year until now so this is basically how it's moving now for starters um the candles these are called candlesticks by the way this individual stuff right here they are called candlesticks and they uh, there are also uh, um, principles when it comes to candlesticks so before you can start and drawing lines on your chart it's important for you to understand what these candlesticks are and how they work and what are they how are they rele relevant when we're trying to line up our parallel channels well basically these candlesticks indicate the price action movement of a certain stock or a certain cryptocurrency on a specific day month or you know it can be a period of weeks three days it really depends if you're going to zoom out or zoom in and then candles will literally change in front of you now red candles um let's try to put a distinct uh yeah let's separate what uh, red candles are and green candles are red candles it means that the opening price of a certain stock or a certain currency is a lot higher compared to the closing price so let's take this candle for example right over here so as you can see here that the opening price which is a lot higher higher compared to the price the opening price is this one which it opened me at seven thousand and it closed at this level right over here which is around six thousand nine hundred so once you see a red candle this the starting price will automatically be right here at the top most part of the candle not the candlestick um it's the candle right over here that's where it actually starts and then the the closing price would be right here at the bottom but what if it's a green candlestick the green candlestick it means that actually the price has increased for the day unlike a red candlestick which is the price decreased for the day when you see a red candlestick um right a green candlestick right over here it means that, let's take this one for example, the opening price is a lot lower compared to the closing price, which is now a lot higher. So as you can see here, the opening price would always be at the bottom and the closing price would always be at the top. Unlike when we are talking about red candlestick, the opening, um, the opening would be like anywhere here and then closed right over here. And... Yes, that's basically how candlestick works. But what about this uh, sticks that are sticking out of the candles? Well, those are the highest or lowest price that um, highest or lowest price movement for the day. Let's take this candlestick for example. The opening price went as high or as low as seven thousand. That's right. But now that's the opening price. But of course, they closed at seven thousand. This one, they closed at 7,000 right over here. So the opening price is this, but it went all the way up here. And then the base price of this uh, green candle is 7,154. So that's the opening price. Um, yeah, th that's, no, that's, this is the opening, no, this is the opening price. I'm sorry about that. This is the opening price and the lowest price went as low as 6,000. That's what I was supposed to say. I'm sorry. Such a minor confusion right there. But the opening price is right over here. But the lowest price went as low as 6,980 right here. But it managed to go up to the closing price, which is 
7,200. So if there's a candlestick sticking out of the green candle, it means it went up to that point as well. It went up to 7,200, but it closed down to 7,200 7, levels or 7,190 levels right over here. You can see here, the solid mark part of the candle is the opening and then the closing. Basically, the 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 stick that's coming out of the candles, those are the price action aside from the closing and the uh, aside from the opening and the closing. This is the highest and the lowest. Same works for the red candle. This is the opening. This is the closing. This is like the lowest po price point and the highest price point it reached for the day. It's just red just because of the fact that it opened a lot higher than when it closed the price. Now, now that we know the basics of the candlestick, Let's try and use this function over here, which is the parallel channel. You can choose from a couple of, you know, line functions such as trend line, info line, trend angle, horizontal line, horizontal ray, vertical line, cross line, RO, ray, extended line, stuff like that. But for this, we're using parallel channel. Now, let's say we are trying to, okay. Take a look at this channel right over here. So we're looking at the highest price point ever since July 23rd, and it should be right on top of the candle. There you go. It should be like this because once there is a decrease, you can really, you can't really go ahead and continuously make a line up until here because as you can see it it already broke right over here so now we're trying to analyze the price action for this particular period right over here and up to the lowest point of this period as well which is over here so this is the lowest point and this is the highest point for this particular period now why is it important for you to have this you can now see how huge the channel is you can now have a visual overview of how much it has been trading since July up until October. And once the gap becomes a lot higher, that means that the stock or that means that the particular um, currency is a lot more volatile compared to when, you know, the gaps are a lot slower because uh, um, st uh, candlestick movements, they actually show, uh, they actually show, yes, volatility. And it can sometimes be high, it can sometimes be low, stuff like that. But for this, it's I think this one's pretty fair, not too volatile. So what are the other functions that you can choose from over here? You can also choose trend line. Now you can uh, now ask, uh, you can now try to interpret the trend line. You can start from this one. This trend line right here is. Uh, right over here right there so what if you're making a prediction you can it's also important for you to like use this for like prediction or like for a analysis of how much the prices will be now you can see here if the trend is going up okay let's use parallel line for this if the trend is currently going up sorry if the trend is going up like what i said choose the lowest price point for this which is this and then oh sorry where is that it should be here choose the lowest price point which is that part and then you can go up until that and then click stop right there and then you can now all right the highest price point is there so now this is a trend line over here you can see here a trend line now as an analysis, if it's an uptrend, it can either go up here, the prices can either go up there, and we can also draw another trend line in case it decreases. So what you want to do is to draw a line starting from the highest point. Okay. Sorry. Draw a line starting from the highest point right over here. Okay. How, where is it? All right, right over here, and then there you go. Make it parallel, you guys, and then, of course, the lowest price point for 
you can yeah until that part right there there you go so it can go two ways it can go up if it's going to be a downtrend but if it's going to be oh i'm sorry i think i made a mistake on this it should be there there you go so there are two scenarios for this particular trade it can go up or it can go down if it's going to be or it can also be like sideways so it can also be instead of going up or going down it can continue to go like this and that's called a sideways pattern so basically this is how you use charting tools there are a lot more options you can choose from over here There are a lot more options you can choose from over here. Go ahead and explore them for yourself. But basically, that is how you use charting tools, specifically parallel channels and how to use them as well. And what are the things that you should know before you start using them. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it has been helpful. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this video. So yes, that's it for this video. See you again in the next video. Peace out.